assalamu alaikum uh, so uh, today's class will start with a term that is ad and bc uh, so uh, what does ad means and what does bc means ad uh, is a word that uh, derives from the latin words group of latin words that is anno domini okay so ad is derived from the, or ad is the short of, short form of the latin words that is anno domini and uh, the meaning of this word is in the year of lord okay what is the meaning of this word anno domini it means in the year of lord and if you are writing year 2017 we are just simply writing the year that is 2017 we can also write the same year as ad 2007 uh, 2007 so if you are writing the year 2007 we can simply write it also as ad 2007 which means 2007 years after the birth of christ and then christ janichadinu shesham shesham which means 2007 if you are just simply writing 2007 It, it means like it is equal to AD 2007, and that means 2007 years after the birth of Christ, which means like AD also has a meaning like after <coughs> death. Okay, AD also has a meaning like after death. So first of all, the uh, short form of the Latin words "anno domini" is AD. AD is our another Latin words. I am "anno domini" then them derive which is written. No, and the meaning of this word "anno domini" is in the year of Lord. And if you are writing the year two thousand seven, we can also write it as AD two thousand seven. And the meaning of this AD two thousand seven means two thousand seven years after the birth of Christ. And then Christ did Christ in. Uh, Christ in the Genesis Shesham. Okay, so after the birth of Christ, and the next one is BC. So BC stands for before Christ. Christ in a month. AD stands for after Christ. So this one BC stands for before Christ. Okay, and it means before the birth of Christ. And then Christ in the Genesis the month. That is the AD no rainbow. it is after the birth of the lord or the in the year of the lord and the bc stands for before christ which means before the birth of christ and if you are writing 200 bc which means like 200 years before the birth of jesus then we will put 200 bc in the 200 years aarude jannathine munbe jesus christ inde jannathine munbe nanu adinte meaning varunathu okay so first of all we have studied about the heard about two terms that we used in the case of years that is ad and bc and the first one is ad ad is derived from the latin words that is anno domini and what is the meaning of anno domini anno domini mean, means that year in the year of lord and if you are writing year 2007 it can also be written as ad 2007 and which means like 2007 years after the birth of Christ and the next one is BC. BC stands for before Christ and the meaning of BC is before the birth of Jesus Christ. And if you are writing two hundred BC, it means like a two hundred years before the birth of Jesus. Okay. And next one is how do archaeologists know about the eating style of people lived years before? so how do the archaeologists know about the eating style of people that lived in the past first one is they studied the bones of animals bones and fish to identify the eating habits of the people what they did they identified the bones of animals birds fish etc so first first method that they did was they identified the bones of animals birds fishes etc to understand about the eating habits of people lived in the past okay although the plant remains survive far more rarely but if seeds of the grains or piece of woods would have been burnt they would have survived in the charred form so after that they will if they will get some ashes So the burn, uh, the plants, or the 
plant remaining are sometimes burned okay so they identify these things from its ashes or from seeds okay so they won't eat seeds sometimes so they will just leave the seeds like that what will happen the plant will grow up right so that is what happened uh, they will uh, sometimes they will have some uh, fruits they will leave the seeds left uh, and the seeds will be left behind and the similar plant will be grown there so finding child of seeds gave information how the plant pr produce and the how they ate so the seeds help them to understand what the plant produce okay so these are the methods that the archaeologist or historians find or found helpful in understanding about the eating habits of the people lived in past first of all what they did they identified the bones of animals birds or fishes and uh, from that bones so they they the peop the people living in past also they won't eat the bones right what they will do they will just leave the bones and at that time when the archaeologists or the historians are searching to understand about the eating habits of the people lived in past they will ga uh, gather the bones of animals fishes and birds etc and they try to identify the eating habits with the help of these bones and after that they, if they are eating some plant products what will happen sometimes they will uh, burn the plant remaining so they will take the ashes of that after otherwise if they are having some fruits or any vegetables of any kind they will leave the seeds behind so there will be a charred form or the seeds will get grown into a new plant that time by identifying the plant uh, the uh, historians or archaeologists could understand what the plant produce endana plant produce eyna endu cheyda madi aa or plant identify cheyda madi and if they will understand what the plant is producing they can understand how the people might have eaten it alle aa plant produce eyidathu edoru endana adinde edible part nu manasilakka adu enganeyana people consume cheyda nu endu cheyan pattum manasilakkan pattum so these were the methods that they used or archaeologist or historians used to find about the eating habits of people living in the past and that past le jeevichirna aalkarude eating habits engane kayirunno kandupidichirunna what were the methods that they followed first of all they identified the bones of animals birds of fishes and what they will do the people who used to have these uh, uh, animals birds fishes they will leave the uh, bones and when the archaeologists or the historians are doing the excavation to understand the eating habits of the people living in past what they will do they identify the animals birds fishes etc with the help of these bones that are left behind and the next one is sometimes when we, they will be having some plant products they will burn the remaining of the products and uh, the historians will understand about that plant using its ashes otherwise if it, in case of some vegetables or fruits they will leave the seeds and that time the seeds will be in a charred form which means it will develop into a new plant and from that plant they can understand what the plant produce or what is the edible uh, edible part of that plant okay edible part means the thing that is eatable appo endana edible part kandupidichathine shesham they can understand how the people might have consumed it enganeyana aalkar adu consume cheyunnadennu manasilaakkan pattu so these are the methods that were used by the historians or archaeologists to understand about the eating habits of people lived in the past so in today's class we have studied about ad and bc uh, ad is derived from two latin words that is anno domini and which means in the year of lord and if you are writing the year 2007 we can also write it as ad 2007 which means 2000 years after the birth of jesus christ and in case of it is bc bc means before christ so if you are writing 200 bc it means like 200 years before the birth of jesus christ and after that we have also studied about how the historians or archaeologists studied about the eating habits of the people living in past okay so that's it for today thank you assalam alaikum